Welcome, and here we are again, folks. Another crystal kit. This is the BBC Earth Grow and Discover Crystal Aquarium. In this one, you grow crystals underwater. I don't think it's supposed to be a real aquarium. I don't think you're probably supposed to put fishes in this. Uh, they may well die from the chemicals. I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and build it and see what it's like. Here's what we have inside. We have a bag of a fluid, a gel, and some crystal rocks. Now be really careful how you unpack this. I have a knife, but make sure as you pull the bags of crystal rocks out of here, you don't catch the bag and leak out all this gel. Um, I'll do that off camera so I don't make a mess. And here is the aquarium. Uh, it's tiny. It's much, much smaller than you think. Here's my hand in comparison. In fact, let's get a tape measure out. You can see this is about eight inches by about an inch and five inches high. So it's tiny and you wouldn't really be able to put any fish in here anyway. And here's what you have inside that bag I showed. There's two bags of this gel, this growing solution. It's a bag of crystal rocks. Uh, looks like there's four rocks in there. And there's a rather pitiful little display of stickers to put on the outside. It also comes with this poster that displays a little about oceans and coral reefs. Not much information there, but it's pretty colourful for kids to hang on the wall. And on the other side, are uh, the instructions. That's it. One single page of instructions on the back of the poster. Let's go through that in a little bit more detail so that you can see that. The first step is to put our crystal rocks in the aquarium. We're going to try and spread them out to get a good distribution of crystals. And the trick is not to have them touch the sides. So I'm going to use this mixing stick to position my crystals, my crystal rocks, evenly spread, not touching the sides, like so. The next step is to make the growing solution. So I've got this large plastic beaker. They suggest a glass one. Let's try plastic. The first thing to do is to take both these bags of solution and pour them into this jar. Get all this gel out. Get as much of it as you can out. Try not to spill it like I am. Okay, that's one. And ideally we should be using disposable gloves for this. But, uh, I should wash my hands very carefully afterwards. And here comes the second one. So 
And now we have all this gel in here. And then we need to add three cups of lukewarm water. I've already measured out three cups here. Add the three cups. As you can see, you need a pretty large container to hold it in. And then mix it until all the sediment is gone and all gone into solution. Okay, I sat and mixed this for almost 10 minutes. I think it's all in solution now. So now we need to very carefully pour it over our rocks, trying not to displace them. And you can see I did in fact displace all my rocks but I can use this spoon to relocate them back in the middle and away from the walls. Get them nice and spread out. And hopefully you made less of a mess than I did. And finally, you need to place the aquarium somewhere for the crystals to grow, put it in a stable place, and then don't move it. There it is sitting on the windowsill, and we'll come and revisit it after a while and see if our crystals are grown. This didn't come out as well as I was hoping. As you can see, there are very small strands of crystals growing out of these rocks. Uh, one of them is significantly better. That's what I was expecting for the crystals to reach the surface of the water. But the rocks are still just left in the bottom. I definitely wanted crystals rather than rocks. This was very disappointing overall. Not entirely sure this is worthwhile buying. Maybe you can get better results than I did. If you decide to buy this, let me know how you get on.